WNST, Towson, Baltimore, and Baltimore Positive. Um, I'm wearing my Team USA jersey because I did a little soccer speech here, but coming up on Memorial Day weekend, man, I've been getting the grill out, and uh, I got a new sponsor. Everybody knows Wise Markets uh, providing us wise conversations. I don't know how wise this one's going to be because it's two East Baltimore guys get together talking about spring peas and fresh berries and graduations. I don't even know. What year did you graduate, Rob Santoni? I was 85. Are you some, somewhere? 84. 84. Yep, 84. Did you go to school? Loyal. Ah, oh, man, no wonder you're smarter than me. Okay, maybe this will be a wise conversation. I'm not sure. Um, graduations are here, right? And we remember last year honking horns, driving around the block, doing all this stuff that they missed out on all the fun. This year, I was in the wise the other day. I was, it wasn't your store. I put the picture up. It was made in choice. I'm not cheating on the Nottingham store that I call Fullerton. Uh, store 702? Store... 89. 89. Which store are you? Close. Close. I am smarter than you. Close. Which store are you? Uh, 206. I said 702. 206. I remember that. That was my homeroom in uh, fifth grade. 206. Miss yeah. Young. That's the Essex in you coming out. Route 72. <laughs> That's the Mary Lou Henner and me coming out. So, uh, ah. so I'm in the store and I'm seeing all the graduation stuff and I'm like, oh, yeah. Kids are going to graduate and have fun and eat cake and do things like that. And I know um, you're here to promote graduations, but more than that, man, I had the best conversation with your barbecue guy, the gray manor guy, Tim, right? Yeah, Patapsco I mean, yeah. guy, not a bad guy for Patapsco, but I'm all about the grilling. You know what I mean? If I had a kid right now, there would be a grill involved. There'd be a pool. Maybe I could bar the Santoni pool, right? Or something, <laughs> but like, this is the time of the year when people want to get outside and do outside stuff and eat outside stuff. Yeah, it is the best time of year. It's my, my favorite time because May, there's no major holidays. The holidays that we have are the fun ones. No gifts, no cards involved. Right? Are you saying Preakness isn't a major holiday? Huh? Are you saying Preakness isn't a major holiday? Preakness is a holiday. Yeah, it is, but I'm, you know, you know what I'm talking about. So May, May, June, it, you know, like you said, it's it's all about grilling. It's all about graduation, fun in the sun, all that good stuff. So last year you brought up about the drive by uh, graduations and, you know, the birthday lines and all that stuff. That is so different now. Right. What a difference a year makes. And, um, you know, kids are graduating. You had to um, have cupcakes last year. You couldn't have like a real cake. You had to, you know, right. you had to get them out individually wrapped. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> and um uh, now, you know, even though proms are limited, there's still, you know, that new trend called the mom proms and, you know, moms are, and, and, you know, parents are. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know about this. I don't, I'm not, you I just have kids. I've seen them. So, I've seen them on the internet. Like what mom prom, what's that? So wifey, you know, filled me in, you know, they call them mom proms or, or, uh, home proms where, you know, the parents will will organize and get their own venue away from school and, you know, limit it and, uh, you know, just give the kids the closest uh, thing that resembles a uh, real prom. Oh, wow. So pictures, I've seen pictures all, all over social and I'm like, wow, you know, this is really nice. These kids had a prom. And um, so they need to come to you for like fresh Maryland seafood or like lobster or like signature crab cakes for the guests. Yep. Yeah, set it up. So, you know, I mean, they're at least going to come to us for a nice graduation cake, you know, and, um, you know, you see, I've got some of our, our fine work behind me. We have beautiful, beautiful sheet cakes. Check this out. This is like the newest trend. I want the, the rose down. It's too candy. much icing. Okay. The what? That rose in the corner is too much icing for me, though. It looks good, though. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Well, and, put uh, the bouquet up. Let me see the bouquet. What do you got there? What are you doing? This is a candy bouquet. It, it's a little different. You it's know. too much for me. I'll take that Twix, though. I don't know. The peanut butter cups look good. I know, right? Yeah. Awesome. Man, no. you run all that off, man. You're a marathon, or you just burn off it. You <laughs> can eat those Reese's peanut butter cups, and they're gone by 4 o'clock, right? I pack them while, while I run, so it's all good. I got a wise story for you, uh, and I've, I've given you a hard time about this, but I want to – I want to praise your partners over Maiden Choice, all right? So now I'm not going to pit store 89 against store 206, but I but I might, all right? I told you before you were a sponsor, back when we were just friends, we've been friends a long time, but this is probably 
two summers ago, maybe, or maybe it was last summer. I'm not sure, but I discovered this garlic pepper seasoning that you do. And apparently it's only a summer thing. Like I've only started seeing it again, but it's garlic and pepper and you put it on chicken. I love it so much that I hoard it. I buy like two packs of it when I get it. And that's a lot of chicken for us to put in the freezer. Last night, my wife came home two nights ago. She's been gone a whole lot with her family, hiking in New Hampshire and whatever. And I was so proud of myself. I came into your store. The late July chips were on sale. I bought two bags of them. So I, I had those at your store. And I got my berries over at Maiden Choice. And when I was over there, they had the garlic pepper chicken breasts. And I brought them home about two weeks ago, put them in the freezer because they stink up your fridge. I mean, a smell like garlic and pepper like you want them to that if you want garlic pepper on your grill you get this okay so they're already they're already pre-made they're not in the in the counter they're you just pick them up six bucks i got like three of them they were beautiful took them out last night and my wife and i were like you want to walk to amici's and check out the new outdoor of course i do and then the weather got bad so the weather was bad and i'm like hey i got these garlic chicken breasts I got nachos, we got cheese, we have all these beautiful, tom I got Roma tomatoes at your store, I picked up some lettuce, so we, I didn't have any avocado. I for when I was in your place, I forgot avocado and I forgot cones, I keep forgetting cones. So I didn't have any avocado, but I had salsa, and we made these chicken breasts from the garlic chicken, and we slice it and we put it over, over nachos, I can't wait. When we sell our condo, I'm going to have an outdoor grill like grown-ups like you. And I can't wait to taste that on a flame. Can I come over to your house and make wise garlic pepper chicken yeah. breasts on a real flame? I want a grill. If you're cooking, sure. We'll get Tim to do it. Yeah. <laughs> he has all the recipes and the rubs and stuff. You guys do an amazing job, literally, like with the meats and the, the pre – not pre-prepared, but pre-seasoned chicken yeah, we, and steak stuff. It, I, I love getting them at your place i do i bring them home like i said and I, the, the guard you guys do a great job with seasonings yeah we call that the marinade program and it's got you know like uh got, you know the teriyaki uh glaze we got There's like 20 one. different ones there's too many to name yeah some sort of mountain memphis smoke i mean you they gave are me the quebec seasoning that's a mm -hmm. little bit like a Chesapeake Bay, but it's spicier than that. It's It's got more heat to it, but it's peppery. Ah, it's delicious on chicken. It's almost like a chili rub kind of sort of. Yeah. You're yeah. afraid of spices, aren't you, Rob? Be honest. No. I mean, No, I like it. No, I'm fine. The more, is there anything the more you don't eat in the spice rack? Oh. <sighs> I used to be afraid of rubs. I'm not afraid of them. I told Tim this last week. I just, I'm more pepper. is better. I just put more on, and when it comes out, I, 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 it feels like I'm a chef. Right, right. You're not, you're not a barbecue guy. Yeah, I, I cook, but you know, my son has been taking it over lately. I'm not the one that cooks in the house, and I catch a lot of grief for it. Is he the pool DJ too, or just the DJ at record theater? He's a DJ at rec, you know, at the rec room. Have and you been out yet to like a, a a live music venue yet? I did. I saw our friend. Um, Dean Crawford. Did you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dean's a, a you know close friend of ours, and he played his first show up at uh, Barrel House in Boston. I saw that people were sharing that online. So mm -hmm. you were inside at a show. I did my first one the other day. So I, mm -hmm. I went to the record theater, and you saw that I was there and threw me a text. Your, that. your yeah. boy was there. The so it was the Rush tribute band, right? And Paul Manna from 24 7 is coming on this week. I love Paul. It's going to be great to hang out with him. He had a, a, lost his mom recently, so I want to give him some love. So I went out Saturday night. My wife made me do it. Uh, I was going to stop at Woodrow's and pick up some barbecue because, like, they just rub their meat the right way. I mean, I just I'm sorry. But I got caught in traffic, so I didn't make it. I got up to the record theater. I had a burger there, and I was, like, hanging out at the back bar. I figured, like – with a mask and my hair, nobody would recognize me wrong. There's a reason why his market sponsors a show. It's because I stand by the bathroom and everybody knows who I am. So here's the dilemma I had. This is a little bit of a weird thing. It's a social thing, a pandemic thing. So people are coming up, and I, I don't really want to hug anybody. I mean, I love your wife. I love you. Uh, you know, I love your cashiers, but I'm not hugging anybody, right? I'm not ready for that. And I'm not ready even for a fist bump. 
I mean, if you if I'm in your store, I've elbow bumped you. I'm ready for the. I was ready for elbow bumping before the shot. Elbow bump was something I learned with my wife when my wife had cancer. Feels okay to me. I don't. Elbow bump's good. I'm good with that. Even if you hug people, you're not coughing all over your elbows. I'm just. I mean, I'm not Howie Mandel, but I'm not ready to shake anybody's hand right now. I'm just not. I'm just not. I'm just not. Because of my wife, because of illness, because it's still out there, and because I want to go to – I don't want to throw up on I don't want to be sick, you know? So I had a little weird thing at the wreck the other night. Like people were getting up on me, and I just was trying to be respectful. And then people had a couple <laughs> – you know, I know your wives doesn't sell alcohol, but they do on Eastern Shore. Um, but I, I need to get better about this. This is my little social thing. I need to get out a little bit more. I think outdoor I'm great with. I'd be great at your pool, but I, I – I'm learning about this post pandemic. How far do I have to stay away from somebody in a produce aisle? I'm learning. I really am. Yeah. I, I think, you know, we've all learned, I mean, we've, you know, we've taken down all the signs. I'm, I'm a little opposed to taking down the floor, floor decals that you see around. You know, I think that's a way of life that I think, you know, America should. It's hold a good on. idea to keep a little, it doesn't mean you can't yeah. talk to people. I mean, I, I'm like, I, I don't not want to talk to you. I mean, I want to hear Xanadu and Red Barchetta and please don't, you know, I am here for the show, but like, I love people. I love, I mean, Rob, if there's one thing I've learned in this mess is that I miss people. You know, I, like, I, I loved being out. I wanted to say hello to your kid. I got kind of tired to be honest with you. It was a late for me, but like, I wanted to talk to people, but I just didn't want to like spit on them and like get up on them and have them dive at me and like fist bump or no highway. I'm like, come on, man. I don't want to be a jerk. I just want to like, I want to talk, but I think we're all going to deal with that. I, I, I said to my wife and, and Patty will laugh about this, right? Your wife. I said to my wife, I felt like an introvert for the first time in my life. Like, you know what I mean? Like I felt like an introvert and I don't know what that feels like. That's not normal for me, right? Yeah, Literally. Not, no, absolutely. You know, but I think we've all learned something. And, you know, that's the reason I don't take those decals down because it's a reminder of what was, what we don't want to go back to. You know, this is a new way of life. And, you know, I'm okay with, you know, the handshakes going away and the fist bumps, you know, because it just makes, you know, you know, how many times do you have to shake somebody's hand when you, you know, see the same person? I'm okay with I'm okay with that. And that's weird to say, but I can love you and give you an elbow bump and and show some warmth and show my smile. And I mean, I love, I miss smiles. I even miss men's smile. I even miss your smile. You know, I get it on zoom and I say to my wife all day, I look at people and I see their face and then I leave. And I, I, I don't see, I, you know, I don't see anything. So I've loved the zoom part of this, but are are people aren't allowed in your store without a mask, right? They are. I walk around now. Um, okay. last week, last week we started it, not one customer complaint, not one associate complaint. You know, I think people are ready for it. We've all learned certain protocols that I think will stay with us for a lifetime. Um, and as long as everybody behaves in a reasonable way, okay. You know, especially at concerts, like you talked about, um, you know, just, you know, it doesn't have to be six feet. Three feet is now like the CDC guideline, I believe. Um, that's Okay. Just behave, but you know, we're we're still gonna see everybody jumping around in front of my son's DJ booth and jumping and hooting and hollering. If you're I'm not ready for a mosh pit, right. tell them I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Yeah, right. But um, you know, some of us, some of us that have not, uh, you know, contracted COVID through all this, and we're doing the bare minimum. It's you know, it says a lot for doing the bare minimum. Well, I appreciate you guys and the sponsorship and the wise conversations. Rob Santoni, my life for pal here. Uh, Calls the store Nottingham. I, I, I've never met anyone that says, I, I live in Nottingham. Uh, yeah. It's Fullerton, store uh, 206. Uh, it's never Fullerton be- to me, too. Well, I, you know, at some point, I'm going to get down to the Middle River store. I'm going to have to learn all the numbers, you know. Um, but I, I'm definitely getting around. It has been wonderful having your guest on and ha- having fun. And you're not the only guest around here. I had a great yeah. conversation with Dennis Curtin last week about our crab cake tour. Um you're a runner and like all of that. Do you have a spot in Maryland that I've never been that I should consider going that, you know, not ocean city, not thrashers front, not, like something off the beaten path that maybe I haven't seen. Cause I'm trying to fish for this, this, this month. Wow. I don't, that's hard because you know, you travel more, 
more than most but people. But I haven't been in Maryland. <laughs> I'm telling you, I haven't been to Deep Creek Lake. I haven't been to Rocky Gap. I haven't been to Tidewater Refuge. I, I haven't been to – I've only been to Assateek once in my life. I've never been to Smith Island. I've never been to Crisfield. I've never been to Chestertown. I've never been to St. Mary. There's so many places I've never been, man. Like So, like, that's what I want to explore. And I think there's a wise mark in most of those places. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's quite a few out west. Um, you know, I haven't been to Deep Creek either. And, you know, we're also talking about, you know, what do we want to do this summer? And that's that's come up. Well, I always you know, want to do something new. I want a zip line. Yeah. I want to fly fish. I'm just going to do things that are very not necessarily in character for what I used to do, which was sit at ball games and talk about baseball. And I'm not going to do that in August. I'm going to have crab cakes and talk to people about I think I'm going to talk about Baltimore a lot, right? Like, you know, there's this perception about Baltimore outside of the city and let the city burn. Sure. That's that's what Baltimore Positive is all about. I'm letting people know on Eastern Shore, Western Maryland, hey, man, we're in Baltimore and we're going to come out and visit you and you're going to come visit us and we're all flying this flag and, you know, and I, I apparently hear the wise market in Frostburg's pretty cool. So, uh, and they have the same Maryland crab meat you have. So if I run into a little Maryland crab meat famine in the Western part of the state, I've got an out, which is fantastic because like by then I'll have a recipe. It'll be the end of the month and I'll mix up my own little recipe, you know, glamping. They have these huts out on the Savage River, Rob, where you can fly fish and like live in a glamp hut for the night. I thought I was going to have to go to Africa. Like to fun? Yeah. I thought I was going to have to go to Montana to do that. I can do that right out of Deep Creek Lake. So th these are the things I'm learning. I want to take the train. I saw this on NPR. There's a train that goes from Cumberland to Frostburg. Like old school train. I'm going to mm -hmm. do that. B&O you know, Railroad. A little history. Go to Antietam for the Civil War. Get a little history in me, right? Crab. I'm going to pick some crabs. It's going to be – where, where are you? Are you going to join me on the tour somewhere? Are you going to get a crab cake with me? Sure. If I'm invited, sure. I'll go with you. Well, you've been Why talking to? about this signature crab cake at Wise for like a long time. You'll sit there. You'll get a famous crab cake somewhere else, and I'll whip out my $6 Wise signature cake, and it'll be delicious. And fried, baby. <laughs> just the way we and do it. Fried. Well, so let me, do, let me do ahead. a little business here. You know, I just want to talk about, um, you know, just run through some of the offerings for graduation. You know, so, you know, the listeners. Can I and tell you what? I had Julian on about Paws for Pets. So yeah. when I bought my berries the other day, when I came into your store and I got my, <laughs> my nachos and all the stuff, I ran, I, I am a rounder upper now and it's all because of you. So there. What was your bill? 99 cents. You rounded up to a buck? I rounded up. Maybe <laughs> for the more 50 cents. You know, maybe you cheapskate on a show now. Come on, man. I love the animals. <laughs> What we'll, we'll uh, round it up for in June? There's probably something well, new, right? Work. Look, I thank you know I thank you for that because our store is leading our district here in Baltimore in calls for pets donations. So you know, it works. Well, there's a little brag. How about that? Yeah, I can't believe how um, how generous um, you know the folks are when it comes you know to their pets. And there's no engagement there. You know, it's just the roundup message, and people just hit it. Maybe they just don't want the change. Maybe they want clean numbers in the bank account. I don't know. But, you know, we thank them for rounding up. Uh, Maybe this love the pictures of my cat calls. watching sunrises. Yeah, right, right. So so we've got all the offerings for uh, graduations, for proms. You come into the store, you know, order your bouquet, your boutonniere, you get $2 off. Um, you know, we have sheet cakes, beautiful, you know, uh, decorators in-house in every one of the stores. will make it any color, any school color, any decorations. Put your photos on the cake. Um, flowers, balloons, one-stop shopping for all your proms and graduations right here at any local wise markets. I'm going to tell a story here and this, you know, I've been with Royal Farms forever, right? I love Royal Farms. I've been, you know, I wear the shirt. I mean, they're my, I'm going to be gassing up across the state there too. So I, um, and I've been talking about fried chicken. I was in your store, your store last week and I was starving. I was starving in your store. Uh, you got the chicken? I went over to the buffet. It was the, and, if, and I wanted to feel safe at the buffet, to be really mm -hmm. honest with you, because the glass was out. There were a couple of ladies like sort of lining up mm -hmm. and it was right over where the berries usually are right by the front door there over toward the deli. Mm -hmm. And I looked and I was really hungry. I was really hungry. And I'm like, I want that. And there was broccoli and there was mashed potatoes. And I was really hungry. And I'm like, I want that. It looks so good. I got a, a, a breast and a, and a wing, and I had a little scoop of mashed potatoes, and I had some broccoli. 
And it's it was good. the last thing I did. No, I, t- I checked out and I went out to my car and I realized I didn't have a fork. <laughs> I sat in your parking lot and I was like sopping up with the chicken. And, and I brag about being able to eat with chopsticks. I would eat those mashed potatoes with chopsticks, but I didn't have any chopsticks. So I was trying to figure out and I just, I went Moroccan, man. I, I, I just went old school and used the hands. But the fried chicken was delicious. Just so you know that. And the Isn't weirdest it? thing happened. I put it a plug good. up with your buddies. I called them the three wise men. Notice you uh-huh. weren't in the picture. Uh, this yeah. was over at Maiden Choice, right? I took the three wise men. I had some blueberries that I bought there. And the first comment was from a Penn Stater, Ron Drager, Dundalk High, class 84, one of your people. Grew up with Ron. He lives in Florida now. And he says that that it's his go-to for Penn State football tailgating, that Wise is his go-to when he's in PA. So there. Yeah, yeah they do it up right there. But, you know, I'm glad that you like the chicken. It's, you know, it'll give some folks a run for their money. You know, it it is very good. You know, hey, man, bre- I love all my sponsors, and I'm doing crab. I've had a crab cake at Fadley State Fair and Costas this week. It's possible for stuff to be good. You know what I mean? Good is sure. good, period, right? But, um, you know, at some point, I got to get back in there and get the proper cones, uh, proper joy cones for my, for my ice cream. I went four straight nights. What happened? My wife's not here. Like, I don't write it down. I, didn't, I went into your store, and I'm rummaging around, picking up fried chicken, picking up nachos, picking up tomatoes and stuff. And I walked out, I knew I forgot something. And I got home and I was like nine o'clock at night. I'm a little tired. I'm working on the crab cake tour. I'm like, man, I want to get a cone. And I walked in and it was the fourth night in a row that I forgot that I had cones. I have cones now, limited supply, but I'm going to get cones. I like the cones better at your store. Oh, that's good. Hey, um, don't forget, we've got, um, you know, before we get off the air here, uh, COVID vaccines are also available. So anybody oh, okay. that right. needs them? Just walk into any wise pharmacy, get on the list, and then come back in three weeks and you'll be vaccinated. Well, that's that's the so, we should have started with that. That's probably the most important one, thing. One stop shopping. Ah, you know, start with COVID. Hey, man, this is a serious oh. business now because I, 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 I don't really know the answer to this. And I'm going to put you on the spot, and I think you probably know. Is there a Heritage Fair this year? I don't think there is. Is there? Yeah. So um, I wrote that down. Um, what? You know, but I was going to save it for the next episode. But yes, there is a Heritage Fair. We are going to be the headline sponsor, like we've been for the last few years. We they're they're going to have have the uh, parade. We're in the parade. We're sponsoring the six k uh, race before the parade, and we'll have all the wise banners around the parade and on the grandstand. So local yeah. bands. Um, I don't know what the entertainment lineup is. Um, haven't been to the first meeting, but um, you know. Uh, you know, they always get good ones. They get some nice cover bands. Oh, no, this is in five weeks. This is going to happen the 4th of July weekend. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. That changes great, things. That changes things for me. You know what I mean? I, I just c- kind of wrote it off. I didn't think it was going to happen. Like, I had Gene Parker on from Merriweather. They're having M3 that weekend, right? So, you know, that's my thing. My hair is appropriate. I grew this for M3. This is real. Okay. Um, yeah, it is. So, uh, but that's 4th of July weekend, too. So, now I have competing events i haven't been out of the house in a year and a half i I don't i'll have to get my nails done if i got to go do two things the same weekend rob you know that right so i mean once i start putting things on the calendar again it's getting real hey man love you appreciate you i'm gonna get over there and um and and shop soon my wife's gonna be in we love the uh, relationship and appreciate everything i'm telling you for any kid out there the graduation it's nice with the cake and all that if you want to feel like a king just get some cones and have an, an old-fashioned ice cream cone. Every time you have an ice cream cone, you feel special. And yeah. the best part about ice cream cones is you lick them and they last like 10, 15 minutes, unlike a piece of pie or a cookie that you just sort of ah, – you right. can't do that with a cone. Cone slows you down. So, I mean, <laughs> you know, literally it slows you down a little bit. Uh, otherwise, you get brain freeze. So I'm a cone guy, and I'm telling any, anybody, if you want to feel celebratory at the end of all this, get a pack of cones, get some ice cream. I promise you, you'll feel differently about things at 8 o'clock at night if you get a cone. Good. All right. Well, next time I, I see you, we'll um, have a cone. And I got your shirt, your hat, and your, uh, your wise. Oh, nice. I'm into that. Good. All right. Yeah. Excellent. Appreciate you, dude. Uh, we'll see you soon. Store hey, 206. You I'll give you a name badge. No, I I had my, uh, my I had my Nancy wise card. 
That's <laughs> funny. My name is. You give me what my name is. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do that. Just put Ness on it. N-E-S. It's all good. You got it. All right. All right. Rob Santoni is here. His name is Rob. It says so on his badge. You can find him in the store. If you have various complaints about things, go find him. If you want to compliment him on the berry selection or the the, the fresh spinach, stop by because I'm going to be stopping by. And uh, I haven't gotten any uh, any peppers lately. I'm going to make some stuffed peppers. That's next on my agenda. So I'm going to stop by. I'm going to pick up some proper sausage uh, in the meat department. My wife loves making wings at home. She's going to do that. So go see our friends at Wise Markets, Wise Conversations. Make sure you round up for great causes this month. Uh, it was Paws for Pets, which uh, we appreciate as well. All right. I'm Nestor. We are WNST.net AM 1570. The Heritage Fair is here. That's the most important thing we've just learned. So what have we learned here? The Heritage Fair is here. And that means beer garden. And that makes me happy. Baltimore positive.